Just a few games was enough to understand that you got into a awfully sad trap and it will take a long time to get it out. The project against the storm cleverly manipulates the minds of the strategy fans with its unique gameplay, plunging them into a world of endless settlement and internal cataclysm that wipes them out. Hope only on the industry, on the smoldering city and the mercy of the queen. Town building simulator with element of roguelike. Again, the storm is created by a Remit Games team, considering of five experience development living in Wroclaw, Poland. The crazy combination of chance seems incredibly silly, but it's what makes the game great. The world of the game is crushed by the rotten storm. Repeat every few decades, there is only one safe haven, the smoldering city. Ruled by the Scorched Queen, the player will take on the role of the Rose Virkoi, creating new colonies for priceless resources. It's funny, but the developers haven't given much true to any scene description of event or plot. Players are enchanged by sticky gameplay. You can only liquidate the smoldering city by building small satellite cities where supplies are collected and power-ups are unlocked. The first component of the roguelike is that each settlement is kind of run that lasts about an hour and a half to the two hours. The settlements stay on the map for a while, but after the appearance of three or five bread hen will come a new great storm and destroy everything. Again, the storm is a game about the ability to manage an attitude to the little thing. Once you get a little distract or don't pay attention to the same part component, you can lose the game. There's nothing wrong with that. But losing is a waste of time. Construction starts with an ancient herd, where a small group of inhabitants form up the main building in the foundation of a population survive, a source of warm light and spirits. The life of the sacred flame must be suitable by fuel, coal and food. The open area around the herd of the settlement is small, the rest of the space is covered by ticket and foggy areas. First, base structures are erected, to which several rockets are attached, a camp of uh, woodcutters and camp to obtain basic resources – stone, plants, mushrooms, meat, insects, berries, and so on. Buildings have a certain gathering radius, but most can be moved when the area is empty. Some of the prey is edible, some will be used to make more complex materials or useful in trade. After that, you can begin planning production facilities, such as processing wood into planks used at construction and the creation of new products and so on. The essence of entertainment and religious building is to improve the mood of the inhabitants, as discussed below. Trails can be placed between buildings for faster movement. And since Jesus are placed in the warehouse behind the herd, the efficiency of the entire community depends on the speed of the inhabitants. There are currently four ways in the game. A fifth is promised later. Each has its own ability and preference. Beavers adore walking with food, eat pickles and want to be educated, humans enjoy walking in vegetable garden, don't mind eating flower and nature religion. Lizards are great hunters, love dry housing and bar fights. Harpies are gift scientists, live in cleans and are great with kebabs. The peoples also share common interests, but they all want to eat a variety of foods. Also, each race has a measure of group of spirit. A vital parameter of a city's success, its rise or fall depend on housing, clothing, weather and society. A high mood will create additional condition for victory, while a low mood affects your willingness to, more, to work more and even live in the city. Gameplay boil, uh, boils down to clearing the area of tries and similar plans to enter the grades, where there will be new resources, dangerous objects, buildings and boxes of supplies, but the discovery of more grades affects another important element of the game, the hostile forest. The forest is brutal, watching everything and affecting the townspeople and society. 
over time it becomes even more ruthless, does not tolerate a large number of residents and the main enemies, lumberjacks. Additional hearths and the screen impactings will help soften the impact of the natural system. Each run lasts for some number of in-game years with conditional seasons. There are periods when the sun is shining and the population is most happy. Then there are times of precipitation and storms when the mood decreases and there is a risk of population exodus. At the bottom of the screen you can see two bars with 10 or more divisions. Victory will come when the blue one called Reputation is filled in, and loss will come when the red one Queen's Impedience is filled on. And while the red one grows with time or by doing some negative things, the blue one can only be affected by complete task or by the high spirit of the inhibitants. The whole game is a race, an attempt to maintain balance and show submission to your overlord. Trade plays an important role. For its implementation, build a trading post where at some time bond a creature with different items that can be purchased or exchanged. By the way, it is possible to rob rich Pinachium. The second component is as a bagel is traditionally random. Random modifier edge camps decrease from the queen, giving out buildings, good from the merchant, item in the glades and more. But again the storm not just some game with randomness, usually the game turns into a kind of puzzle, where the player must show in daily to come out of some any situation with a winner. And usually this is surrealistic. Well, and of course luck will not be super false. Each victorious experience is given to rise level. A certain level will open up access to a new future and buildings. In addition, they are separate resources by improvements. All the should potentially make by the game easier, but there is an additional incentive in the level of difficulty. The harder you see it, the higher the reward and greater the change of the failure. It's important for fun of the game to become so adept at knowing the mechanic to be able to find a way out of the most confusing situation. Against the storm is a very useful fr friendly game. From the hotkeys to the interface, to the grid encyclopedia, to the pause with the decision making, to the time acceleration and lighting class loadouts. In addition, I remind games listening to the community regularly every two weeks as an expanded content and promptly fix bugs. Against the Storm is a fantasy project with a truly phenomenal replay of me, which will all allow the fun of the strategies as well as a real-time strategy to take a new look at the below in general with super friendly and party RPG elements. I cannot even believe that the developers of a small little known studio will implement such a harmonious and convenient product with a nice look. A game with which literally one game at night easily turns into a lack of the sleep and the vacation will fly by announce it.